I really just need divine triumphs right now. I'm just not even gonna buff anything right now. I need more Valhalla stuff. Select your opponents for a reason. Embrace the challenge, but no, you we are not going to get to tier with legacy. I do not like legacy. Give me the guardian shield. And I didn't like this relic either. I didn't feel like it was very helpful. Sigrun, I wanted to tell you. Well, how I keep sweeping me away to my own adventure in memory. I wondered if it would. That's wonderful. What is it showing you? Some particular events of my wayward youth. But they're in a loop of sorts. Not sure I've quite gleaned what it all amounts to. Then you must do what you do in Valhalla. Keep going. Yeah, try harder, forehead. Alright, well, that run was wasted. What are you gonna do? That's roguelikes, baby. Now we focus on the axe so that we can finally finish these stupid axe whatchamacalls. It's runic things. Although I say that and then these guys are like icy, so I'm immediately gonna switch to this. Am I using the right move for the labor? Because I feel like I should have gotten it already. What are, what are my labors right now? Defeat Valhalla is chosen. Two more. The six monsters. I don't know what monster means, by the way, because it's clearly not just like... I, I would categorize everything we're fighting as a monster, but it must mean like, like... Like trolls, specifically, or something? I don't know. I really hate that there is a combat labor for using a specific shield. That's really annoying. That it, tr like, locks you into like, hey, you have to choose one sh uh, shield, even if it's not the one that helps you progress your other labors, or if it's the one that has the bonus mastery shields or whatever. I, I do not like that labor. Heal with Spartan Rage. Okay, well. I'm not using that one right now. Still don't know how to use Frozen Breach. Use the Axe Skill Whirlwind Throw. R2 after pausing momentarily following an attack. I can try. Oh, Rushing Chaos is the sprint one, not the hold one. That's my bad. Gale Force we can use really easily. Give. Power of the Empress, huh? Drastically increases the power of Frozen Breach and Frozen Ascent. Press R1 doing f during Frost Awaken to do a wide swing and apply Frost. You just press R1 while you're Frost Awoken. I feel like I was trying to do that before and it was not working. It's definitely the little spin move. Well, you know, that's what I need to do for labor, so we're going to try to make it happen, even though I'm having zero luck with it. But actually, let's get the rushing chaos done real quick, because we only need to do like three more. And we can do that very easily. Hello. There's one. Two. Should be three. Yep. Nice. And then this. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Am I really going to get away with this? Oh, labor redeemable. That was easy. Nope. Can't touch this. You're dead. And you are soon to follow. I said soon to follow. Thank you. All right. Well, redeeming those labors wouldn't really easily at least. Increases the duration of all status effects applied by 50%. Imagine if we had had this with the last run. That would have been incredible. Barehanded, parrying, and blocking have high luck chance to deal bonus damage and poison enemies, lowering their power level as if it's Dragon Ball Z. <sighs> sure, dude. I probably should have done the other one instead because we're going to be throwing the axe and inflicting ice, hopefully, but oh well. Neither of these are the runic attacks that I need. I'm really sick of the game. Not Oh, reroll. I'll finally remember to reroll. Still, neither of these are the ones that I need. Very frustrating. This is the ice beam. What is this one? Well, this one is incredibly good, isn't it? It gives you iframes and all. I think this one is really, really good. So is Wrath of the Frost Ancient, but I'm going to try Leviathan's Roar. Coming through. Like, power levels even mean anything in Dragon Ball anymore? Power levels stopped meaning something, like, at some point in the Frieza saga in Dragon Ball. Maybe even the Saiyan saga. Power levels never really mattered. I had a thought. What you said to me. But you didn't think you could give me what I needed. I 
I've been trying to figure out why you'd say such a thing. I know you don't say things without a reason, even if you don't know what it is at first. But I think I figured it out. It's not that there is anything lacking in you. It's that in the end, no one can give me everything I need to be happy. Not even Valhalla. That's something I have to give myself. And to do that... You need to find yourself. That's true. And for saying that's what I meant all along? Whatever, I... <laughs> I love Mimir being there like, yeah, you know what? I'll agree. That's what I meant. That sounds really smart. <laughs> uh, we're at full health. I will absolutely give up health for something good here, hopefully. Holding triangle to frost awaken the axe increases defense and stagger resistance. High luck chance to give a gift of strength on any axe kill. These are both really good. I'm going to take Frost Resolve, because we're focusing on the uh, Frost Awaken as is. That's another Weapon Glyph. What was the other option? <clears throat> Question mark. L live life on the edge, dude. Let's take the question mark. Let's see what happens. I still don't fully understand the purpose of the question mark. Does it, like, on average give you a better buff, but it's just random, or...? Is it literally just like, hey, this door could be... It's the same, like, if it randoms into a stat door, then it would be the same as if I'd walked into a stat door. Oh, you know what? I think I just figured it out. I think when you go in the question mark door, you very specifically get a Nornir chest area, is what it looks like. That is going to be my new assumption going forward. Nice. Goodbye. Hello. Oh, that was really bad by me, and I do not want to talk about it, ever. No, you don't. Not today, sucker. I need you to die. Nice. Nice! Get some Vanir poison up in there. Your power level is lowered. What are you doing? Oh! Oh! That was cool, I guess. I tried to parry that, and I was very bad about it. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no, no. 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 All right, that could have gone better. Could have also gone worse. Two more encounters to fix our rage, and I forget what buff it was, but it was a good buff when I saw it. We have to throw right there. Okay, this is the axe throw one. I wonder if the challenge you get for the Nornir chest here is... Oh, you know what? The question mark one probably always gives you a Nornir chest, as well as it lets you pick from these three. Okay, I think I understand it now. This is more spirit seals, isn't it? Yes. I mean, I think I'd rather have stat up if I was worried about getting far in the run, but I would rather get the... I was only 92 spirit seals. Maybe I should have just taken the stat up. I thought it would give me like 200. I mean, it's still nice because it'll help us in future runs more, but, you know, I was expecting a little bit more out of that. Uh, where are... There's one there... Where are the others? There should also be some other chests with some enemies around them, lying around, I think, usually. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No to you, little freaks. Get out of here. All right, I understand question mark doors now. Unless I get proven wrong later. We will probably always be taking question mark doors from here on. Although, every time I take a question mark door, I then have to do a Nornir chest, which, historically, I have not been doing well at Nornir chests since coming back to this game. Oh, what? You know what? I was about to say, I was not expecting enemies like this. Like, these are pretty rough enemies here. So, I'm just gonna rage my way out of them real quick. Alright, we didn't lose much rage there. We are still stuck in diminished rage right now, but it should be fun. Got some mastery seals chose to get some spirit seals this is uh this is worked out overall i think i don't know if my eyes have gotten worse since the last time i played god of war ragnarok but i just found the second one for the nornir chest but i swear to you i have like the nornir chests are so much more difficult for me now than they used to be 
I'm so bad at spotting them. Or, like, spotting the things for them. But I don't understand why, because I feel like I did perfectly fine. I mean, there was definitely one or two in, um... Is it right there? It's right there. This didn't take me too long to find, but still, I feel like I have so much more trouble with the Nornir chests now than in the original playthrough. I missed! Oh wow, I still had time for that. I thought I was going too slow. What does this normally give? Like, Spirit Seals probably, right? Oh, it gives Leviathan Crests! Oh, that's incredibly useful. More Divine Triumphs. Alright, yeah, we should be taking question mark doors more often, I've decided now. I finally get them. Hello? I'm sure you can see by now. Valhalla has a way of making you learn what you need to learn. Perhaps it does so with me. Even now. Making such demands so as to give me doubts. Long ago, I gave myself completely to love. And it destroyed my home and family. Then, I threw myself into the service of Valhalla and found a new family in my sisters. But what if that's not where my story is? It's time I finally found my path. Not because it may or may not be Valhalla's will, or Freya's or yours, my dear. But my own. Well said, love. An axe thrower seems pretty good, right? I'm gonna level this up to level three. I like more story with Sigrun, by the way. Cool stuff. Glad to see more stuff with the characters from the game and whatnot. We'll do this. I have not been able to build up my Frost Awaken fast enough. I think we have Fleeting Echoes or Runic here, and I think I'm going to take another Runic attack because I still am just missing one heavy and one light Runic for the, uh, whatchamacallit, for the axe. Ooh, baby, that damage. Oh, not a werewolf. I still don't fully understand how to fight these things. That was bad. Take this sucker. Get frozen and killed. Yeah, that move is really good. I am glad we took that runic. Nailed it. Someone else somewhere? Oh, way over there. From downtown! That went well. Took a little bit of damage from the werewolf. One more encounter. Oh, we got three. There it is. Oh, man. I would much, much rather take Wrath of the Frost Ancient. It would do so much better. But if we take this, then we don't have to worry about it ever again. So I'm taking it. We have mastered all of the light runics on the axe. I'm just glad to have that done. And so now we never have to worry about what axe runic we take ever again. Assume if you die anywhere on a run, you lose anything you acquired along the way. Uh, not mastery seals and not spirit seals, because those are permanent upgrades, but like... Any of the glyphs and stuff I'm choosing, yeah, you lose them when you start a new run. You start every run from point zero, basically. Well, not true. You still get like... In, you start every run without the stuff that you buy from mastery and... And spirit seals. So like all of your glyphs, you lose all of these. When permafrost is fully charged, axe hits restore health, but damage is increased? No. Sure. Doop 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 doo doo. Going up. Alright, we're low on rage, but we're really good on health. Refill? We could try and refill our rage or just get a decent stat up, which isn't too bad. What's this door? Another weapon door again? Another weapon door. 
I think we've already gotten like two weapon specific upgrades, so I kind of don't want another one. Let's take refill and either we'll use it to refill our rage or just get a nice stat up. Whichever ends up working out. Hello. I didn't even know what that runic would do. I just ran up and pressed it. No, you don't. What hit me there? Nice. Give me that stun. Bad, bad, bad. It's fine. There we go. Get wrecked. You don't need your feet anyway. Get frozen. Nice. That was on purpose. Okay, cool. You're dead now. That's unblockable. Oh, you threw like a little grenade. That's what hit me earlier. Okay, I see now. Nice. Alright. That did not go perfectly, but it went really well. Burden lifted. Let's go. Six of nine. We could get rage back, or we could get one defense, one runic. Honestly, give me back my rage. Give me back to where I can actually fury. Oh, yeah, that got us basically full. Very good. Some HP here. All right, I like how that turned out. That went well. This is going to be our ninth of ten for Valhalla's Chosen also, I think. Hello. Oh, you're ice. I should have paid attention to that before. Yep, that was a waste. Well, do this now. Excuse me? How did that not, like... There we go. I was about to say. Take that. Okay, I remember this enemy now. No. Oh, I just heard... Yep, these little guys. Get back. Come here. Where? There, I knew there was another one. Come here. Help me out. There's still more? Ow. How many of you little freaks are there? Nice. Oh my goodness, you had another one? Seriously? How many are there? Surely we have to be out now. Like, are, are you done having, like, super heal boys, finally? Hi. Oh, I mistimed that so- You know what? I mistimed that parry really bad. That was on me. So now I'm gonna pay for my mistake by using up my fury to kill you. And die. Alright. I don't like this room. The room where it's that guy and like eight of the little Healy boys. This is one of my least favorite like Valhalla chosen rooms. We've run into this one a handful of times. While wielding the axe, gain a moderate luck chance on hitting a frosted enemy to receive a blessing of runic. I'd rather have double defense, double cooldown. Just sounds way more reliable. Ready to move to the next space, brother? Should be clear. It should be, Mamir. It should be. We. <laughs> Anything I want to buy here? I still don't know how to fight this thing that we're about to fight is the problem. So I'm going to take the rage burst. I don't think it's enough rage to get mad, but it should get us close. I don't think the health burst is worth it. Uh, permafrost life steal is bad. I'll take the runic in cooldown because uh, runic attacks were actually hurting it last time. And then we'll upgrade this to level two, I guess. Maybe I need to somehow get behind this enemy and hit it from behind. Or maybe I just have to parry it. I don't know. I don't know how to deal with this enemy. I do think I should immediately use my runics to get some damage. Check this out, sucker. Yeah. Bad better. Okay, I don't know what to do about that move. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, because I'm already low on health. 
and a part of me is kind of hoping that maybe if I just hit him with a lot of rage, it'll like stop his super armor, but no, it didn't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to fight this enemy. The game probably explained it to me in Ragnarok, but I, again, that was a, that's an unblockable thing. Goodness, I didn't get hit there somehow. That was a very long time ago, and I don't remember now. It is hitting him in the back, I think. I, I don't know what to do for that move. That was really cool. Uh, yeah, this enemy sucks, like, a lot. I really, really don't like this enemy, and I'm gonna lose to him again. Okay. Oh, this is so annoying. Like, I think this is a flaw in, or at least I think it's a flaw, other people might disagree. I think this is a flaw in turning a game like God of War Ragnarok into a roguelike. These enemies are meant to be fought, and like, if you don't just beat them first try, you learn how to beat them, because you can just restart, because you have like, checkpoints in the game and whatnot. But you don't get that in roguelikes. Every time I want to have one attempt against this one enemy that I don't understand how to beat, I have to do like a 20 minute run beforehand. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And that can happen in other roguelikes. Mainly I'm thinking of Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon has like the big dragon boss you have to beat at the end and you kind of have to learn how to fight it a couple of times. But like in God of like in a God of War setting game where it's it just doesn't feel as good as it does in like Enter the Gungeon. I played Enter the Gungeon and I got beat by the dragon like plenty of times when I was first playing. But it like it felt good making it through a run and getting to that point. In God of War Ragnarok, I just feel annoyed more than anything else that I get to an enemy I know nothing about and it's just like hey, you know, try again later. I guess I don't like it. Shield maiden. Your reward. Valhalla knows the efforts you've made. I can continue my story now. Go on. If you'll remember, my teacher had fallen ill. Everything she taught me, I poured into trying to save her. But it turned out mage healing wasn't enough. I realized that only a combination of mage healing and herbal traditions could save her. But I'd let my knowledge of the herbal arts fade away. And so... I failed her like I failed him. And she passed into Hell's embrace. It took a long time to get over that. Anyway, I'll stop here for now. I think what it is, as I'm thinking about it, because, like, Enter the Gungeon especially has you run into new bosses, and if you don't understand how to beat them immediately, you're probably gonna die and have to start a run over. I think what it is about God of War in, like, a roguelike setting is that a lot of these bosses are designed in... 